Geology modeling allows you to understand, assess, and predict your reservoir by incorporating all available data. T-Navigator geology modeling allows you to create a realistic geological model. In this tutorial, you'll know how to import trajectories, logs, well markers, horizons. Then, how to interpolate horizons and create grid properties using well log data. Afterwards, you'll know how to build a simulation model from the geological grid. Creating black oil fluid model, relative permeability, and capillary pressure to initialize the model. You'll know how to import production historical data and well events. To create a new project, go to Designer and then New Project. Let's save it as Geo. Click Save button. Red objects are necessary to initialize a new model. To build a geological model, we'll use trajectories, horizons, last files, and well markers. To change a geometry object, click once on the All Objects. To import well trajectories, click on the wells and then show list of calculations for the selected objects. Then click to add trajectories in well path deviation format. In the trajectories folder, choose deviations for all wells. Then click open button. In the preview window, check all column names from the file with the menu and choose skip line if necessary. Then click Apply. T-Navigator supports multiple well trajectories formats. IRAP RMS, text format, well path deviations, LAS, and GWTD format and more. Hide the calculation window and open 3D map to visualize well trajectories. Hold left mouse button to rotate the wells. Unhide the calculation window. To import well markers, select markers. In File Names window, choose the appropriate file. In the Preview window, be sure to check Column Names. Click Apply. To visualize well markers in 3D window, select Top and Bottom. Scroll the mouse to zoom it. Save your project periodically to prevent data loss. So let's import Horizons in CPS format. Click to add file and choose Horizons, then Open button. In the preview window, check the file, then click Apply. Select Horizon. On the Visualization panel, right mouse click on Horizon, then select Adjust Size. In the next step, we're going to import well logs. Select Logs. Then click to add last file. In the last folder, choose All Files, Control plus A, then Open. If everything is OK, click Apply button. To visualize in 3D window, for instance, Net to Gross, select NTG. Logs as Cylinder on Well Trajectory will appear. Open Well Selection window and choose Appropriate Wells. 
Scroll mouse wheel to scale curves. Hold left mouse button and move Y axis scale to move image up and down. To see well markers on the well selection window, select top and bottom. To interpolate horizon using IDW, select horizon, then interpolation IDW. Output horizon name, top, well marker, top, trend horizon, trend. Press auto detect, then click apply. The new horizon is created. To interpolate button horizon, you just need to change output name and well markers. Click Auto Detect button and apply. Now we've just created horizons using IDW interpolation. To create a grid, we're going to use top and bottom horizons. Select Model Grid, then Create Grid by Horizons. In the Horizons window, click Plus, then choose Top Horizon as a top, Base Horizon as a bottom. Click Auto Detect button and tick Create Regions, then Apply. As a result, we have a grid without properties like Porosity, Permeability, and NTG. The next step is creating Net to Gross Grid Property. Right click the initial maps, then add and select net to gross ratio. Click OK. Open interpolation and select multi layer IDW. Click apply. T Navigator interpolated net to gross from well logs. To create a porosity, click on it. Now we're going to use well logs data. Let's visualize in 3D window. To create a porosity, select Interpolation IDW. Then choose In Well Log Menu, Poro Property, and click Apply. In the 3D window, move mouse on any grid blocks to see porosity value below. Click on the statistics. As you can see, porosity from 5 to 25 percent. Now we're going to recalculate the porosity from percents to values from 0 to 1. In the formula menu, just put the formula, then click apply. Check the value by moving mouse on any grid blocks. We're going to create permex cube via formula. Perm Y is going to be the same as Perm X. Type Perm X in the formula menu and click Apply. Perm Z is going to be 10 times less than Perm X. The next step is create PVT. Go to the Properties, select PVT and click Apply using Standard Correlation as a default option. The same with the model rock and relative permeability as a default option. And finally, the model equilibrium. Click Apply. To import production data, go to the well data. Click to add file. 
In the History Data folder, open VOL file. Click Apply button. To import well events, click to Add File, then choose Event File. Click Apply and save the model. To create a dynamic model, click the green button. Then OK. Go to the graphs, check all the wells that are there, and then run the model. This concludes the geology modeling series. I encourage you to check out the other video tutorials. Thank you for your attention.